Hey guys, good to have you all back. You can tell by what's on my desk. This is going to be a thrift haul video. I found some lovely uh, supplies that I can use for junk journaling. Some vintage goodies, uh, some more newer ones. So my husband and I, we just got back from our lovely short trip to three of my favorite thrift shops. And I have some stuff that I want to show you. Okay, I think I'm going to do this in categories. Let me start with the first one. For my lovely thrift haul, let's start with the first category. I'm going to call this haberdashery because I just love the word. <laughs> it's my one of my favorite words. It means uh, fabric, wools, yarns, threads, laces, ribbons, you know, stuff you find in a haberdashery. Okay, I only found one piece of fabric, but I absolutely love it. Uh, it had a small piece attached to it. I just cut it off. It's not a big piece, but I really like this print. It's not vintage, vintage. Um, it does smell vintage, so I need to wash it. But I absolutely love this print. It reminds me a little bit of the ticking. Yeah, uh, this is probably curtains or or something, what have you. But I really like it, and it's big enough piece to make probably three journal covers of. And um, it was fifty cents. So welcome, welcome to my home. Now for some cotton. This is actually cotton. Um, this is from Anchor. Anchor also makes embroidery floss and such i think i believe so <clears throat> it's a sort of very luxurious type of yeah um it looks like sort of silk it's not i paid one euro for it but it was completely new it even has uh, somewhere where you can find the star at the beginning look it made a day they did this yes so very cool uh what do i use this for for making dangles i love making dangles with beads and buttons and such. And I use this sort of heavy uh, cotton. That you can also crochet with. Or what have you. So I, I didn't have this color. And for one euro it was beautiful. Uh, and I picked up two other ones. Sort of a grayish blue. I already have a baby blue. But this was more grayish. And I paid 30 cents for this one. And then this lovely green. I don't have green. Well in woolies but not in cotton and i paid 50 cents for this so this i would mainly use for making uh dangles and such um for my lace i have some laces yes i found a couple of them uh all very cheap this was 50 cents it's a short piece but i really did like the color oh it's just pretty with the roses on isn't that pretty yes as a belly band guys oh a belly band that's cool or on the spine of a journal or or just, you know, because I like it and I want it. <laughs> this was 30 cents and it's a bigger piece. This was probably on um, in a kitchen cupboard on a shelf. On the end uh, of the shelf. That's, you know, sometimes I see this. And I really like that idea. If you have an old uh, cupboard. Again, it's roses. It's really, really pretty. There is it's a much longer, longer piece. There is a lot of staining at the end. But, you know, that adds character. Yeah, and it's sort of broken here but this is vintage then i have this one paid 50 cents for this actually three strips of 30 centimeters um that makes it easier for me to cut up <laughs> because it's already small sticky uh so yes three of these pieces it's a little bit stretchy again make it into a belly band or on the spine of a cover or as a sort of a closure put a oh yes all around your journal put a button on Cool. And I have three pieces, so yay. Uh, another piece of lace. This is a little bit more modern. Paid 30 cents for it. It's a big, big piece. It's actually a stretch lace. So they probably use this in uh, making uh, undergarments. Yeah? Uh, because it's soft and it's stretchy. and But I like it. And it's a bunch. What did I pay for it? 30 cents? Yes, thank you. 30 cents. Um... I found this. It's not old. It's rather new. It was 50 cents. But I couldn't not get it. Because it's just the loveliest pink flowers. I really like this. It's just cute and sweet and adorable. You know I love my gingham. So I found pink gingham. whole bunch. Yes, 30 cents. Really cool. It's very dirty. I might give it a quick sort of bath. And, and brown. Uh, I don't have a lot of brown, so I'm happy I found this. It's not a big, big piece, but, you know, for me, big enough. And then this whole bunch of blue. Now, I do have a lot of blue gingham already and red. 
uh, but it was 50 cents and it is on a wooden spool now i don't think the wooden spool is vintage it's probably one of the newer ones yeah uh and i'm gonna put it on something else but you know love my gingham so that's what i found for um haberdashery let me show you some uh another category let me show you next category i'm going to call this sort of miscellaneous they didn't have much sort of offer supply supplies <laughs> uh but lots of stuff that i can craft with these are actually new guys you can probably buy these at action um but they were very very cheap and you know i love my brats and they are lovely lovely colors now i do not like the quality of these i already can tell um because you can see well there's something on the sides of it i don't like they're not a, a full circle I don't know how to explain it. Um, but they were very, very cheap. I think they were 50 cents uh, each. So And they had all the colors. So you can come live with me. Yes, brats. Mini brats, big brats. Yeah, for that price. And then I found this. Uh, 10 card makers templates. I'm not a card maker. Uh, by no means. Um, I don't know. Free card maker templates. I don't know. It was a uh, 50 cents and I was intrigued, intrigued. Oh yeah. Um, for sort of stenciling or what have you, I have seen a couple of videos where people use these. Oh, especially with this. I saw a video uh, the other day from Marga. Marga is a Dutch lady who makes beautiful cards. She works for um, Elizabeth Craft Design. She's a designer there and she did something with a bottle and uh, I loved it and a star. And a uh, baby carriage, champagne glass. Uh, well, this is probably a lady. And this is a man. Ooh! This is for a template for an envelope. So you can sort of trace it. Oh, that, well, I'm definitely going to use this. 10 essential shapes. Birthdays, weddings, good luck, and babies. Oh, you can actually put them through a machine. Okay, I do not I do not have the machine. But maybe it also works on I don't know. I'm going to figure out. If not, lovely stencils. Also, it's ring bound and let's be honest, it was 50 cents. So for 50 cents I can try it out. Uh what else did, did I find? This is sort of vintage. It's a it's a telephone, an address book. Uh in this long shape it was 50 cents. It does have it's a, a completely empty, I believe. It does have a ugly sticker in it. In the front. But that's okay. Um, I love this paper. I love this paper. And it has sort of tabs on it of course. Yeah. Oh there's a name of a bar. Or so, no. It's the same. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> there's some addresses in. Not a lot. But I think I want to use the papers for. Well cut it up guys. Make it into labels. And use the cover to, to make the t uh, tall very skinny <laughs> journal. So I thought it was interesting. Um, I picked up two more items that I'm not showing here. There were big packs of A3 size papers. Completely new in the pack. One of them was 80 grams and one of them was 100 grams. Now I usually for normal copy paper I use 90 grams. So one is actually a little bit on the lighter side. And the other is a little bit more on the heavy side. But it was like 3 euros a pack. And there were 500. It was sealed. 500 of them. I'm not showing you because it's boring. But I'm going to tell you. That's what I got. I was really happy with it. Uh, this was also there. Data copy it. I think this is all guys. Uh, I paid 95 cents for it. It is non-transparent white polyester film uh, for printers and um, copiers. Yeah, for durable documents. I wished this was like a transparency uh, overhead projector sheets. It's not. It is very thin and it's glossy type of. Um, it does. It has one side that is very smooth and the other has sort of a structure. So I think this is the part that you print on. I've never used this, but I'm going to. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But, you know, for 95 cents, I'm going to experiment. I'm going to experiment. You cannot coffee dye it. I know that for sure because it is polyester. <clears throat> then I found this. is actually from Spain. It has a, um, an address in Spain on it. Um, yeah, it is... Uh, grid paper 
for a ring bound system but very small grids you see this yes it is new completely new in the pack i am going to coffee dye it then it would look amazing that i'm i'm i sort of promise you i'm gonna open it up am i i should leave it closed right let's let's just see because there's a lot a lot of glare here you might not even see it Okay, I'm going to do it like so and keep, leave it in the, in the paper. Can you see? Yes, small grid paper with holes in them. Yeah, so I really liked it. Um, I found two of these. Why? Because I use these all the time, guys. I have a drawer full. I'm going to take a couple of them out of these. With all sorts of metal bits and clips and what have you. I have probably 15 of them already. I keep picking these up. Uh, because they're just handy for your hardware or for whatever. And these are actually originally from Ikea. Uh, you can store your herbs and spices or whatever in them. You can put them like so and you can put them like so. So they're all like so in a, in a big drawer that I have. And I have a new one, 50 cents. And then these, these I also use for most of the times buttons. Let me stretch. Yes several ones or or this or what have you so i have lots of these uh, and this was 30 cents so i have two new ones so i need stuff to fill them up <laughs> oh i already found some i already found some because look what i found oh yes i'm gonna use this for it um sort of i think it's from the game boggle does this mean anything to you or other games but they're mini ones minis um are you going to play the game? No, I'm not. It was just 30 cents. I have the small little drill that makes teeny tiny holes. So I can drill a hole in it. Yeah. And use them as dangles. Because that's what I did on my um, January flip over junction. I made uh, dangles with also wooden uh, game pieces. But I didn't have these. So I really like this. I'm going to put them in one of those. Uh, speaking of... I found this box. It's upside down. It's a uh, chess. This chess, yes, chess um, board, and it is actually from a beer company, a beer brewery. It is wooden box. The box is already lovely. Just you know, cover it up and put a small. Ooh, make a small mini album journal. Put it in. Yeah, but I bought it for this. Small chess pieces. Now I don't play chess, so I have no clue. Uh, you know, you have a pawn and a bishop and a knight and. A, queen and i don't even know um drill small holes in them make them into dangles so that's what i'm gonna do it's not an old one it's a rather new one uh, but it's multifunctional i have these and i have this yeah i have these and i'm gonna put in here see you already have a destination for it game pieces and it just looks lovely Tada! And I'm going to make a small sort of mini album, mini journal. Cover this. Yeah, or I don't know, 75 cents. Loved it. Loved it. I especially love these. Okay, one item of jewelry. If you have seen my uh, dangle video, um, I've shown you my bead collection. And um, showing you my bead collection, I told you I don't have enough orange. Well, I do now, and I love them. It's a bracelet, it's on elastic, so it's very easy. I'm going to snip it and then I'm going to put them uh, with my bead collection. They are uh, not plastic, like glass type of, um, or ceramics. I don't know what it's called, guys. But I love them. Cute, right? It was one euro. There you go. So, yes. Um, next category. Let me have a look. I have a couple of real vintage goodies guys i have uh, 10 cards i picked out 10 cards they're pretty i'm going to show you i found a small wooden box this is sort of handmade on it it's probably with a wood burning tool i have no clue what this is supposed to be other than lovely um it's an old one um with compartments in it that you can put stuff in now i have these small cards that will probably fit in perfectly uh they're not here at the moment <laughs> well small cards like collectible cards or labels or what have you so i think it's a lovely box i really like these um and it's i paid a euro for it ridiculous right yes you can also have tea in here or washi 
washi tapes. I have a big one of those in a drawer uh, that I can open up and it's full with washi tapes. So washi tapes or what have you. So really lovely. Um, I'm going to show you the cards first, guys. Then I have another item that is huge. Very big. So I don't know if I can physically show it to you. But I'm going to tell you what it is. Um, they had a, a sort of big shoebox full of cards. And I picked out the most lovely ones. They were 50 cents each, which is cheap. But I didn't want to... Uh, spent a lot of time on uh, going through all the cards because I already have so so many. But I really love this one. It says Happy New Year. I it's really special. I really like it. Uh, congratulations with a small little poem. Poem. Can you see it has sort of the gildings on it? Yeah, it's with gold and such. They're older ones, guys. Yeah, uh, I cannot see a date because they removed the. Um, look at the handwriting on the back. Marietje Blokland. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Is this for the same family? Yes. Oh, it's all from the same family. Oh, I bought someone's collection. That always sort of makes me sad. Um, happy birthday. But I love the, the illustration. Isn't that beautiful? The colors. And then this is just a classic. It's just, again, says happy birthday. Just a classic. No, this is from someone else. From This is from 1952. Another happy birthday with some children on it and some toys. And I just love these colors. Again, from Miss Blockland. Um, even has the... Oh, it has my name on it. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what? It's sort of familiar. Not really. My name has an H because, you know, I am of the royal bloodline or, so, or something like it. Um, Margaret Boris. Boris with double S. Again, just a lovely card with balloons with faces on them. Yes, for Miss Rietje Blokland. So cool. Um, another happy... Uh, no, this is uh, Get Well Soon with the daffodils. I just thought it was very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yes, it's for a hospital in Almelo. From 50s, again from the 50s. That is pretty, right? Two boys in the winter with a sled. I'm going to assume these are boys. I don't know. Nobody can tell. Uh, again, for Rietje Blokland. This is probably quite a bit older. From the 30s? Looks like. And another happy birthday. And I just love the image. Look at her head behind her back. I just... Uh, so, I had 10 of those. 10 of those. Okay, um... I'm going to try to show you the other big treasure that I found. I think I managed. <laughs> I zoomed you out a lot. <laughs> Cleared out my desk. Um, in the Netherlands, this is called a letterbox. Um, I think the translation is a letterpress drawer. Yeah, it is actually a drawer. I'm going to show you guys. It's huge. It's about 27 um, inches by 35 inches. And it's, I think, about two inches um, deep. Uh, it has these these metal handles with a, a brand on it. It is used in old print by an old printers, yes. And it was filled with uh, letters, printable, uh, you know, the metal ones that you use for printing. So, a letter box. Letterbox. And it says, and it's so cool, I've never seen this. Baskerville, it's upside down, I know, guys. Baskerville 8. That's probably a font. I think that is a font. So it's huge. It has the small compartments, the big ones. This is missing one here, but I absolutely don't mind this because now I can put something big in. Uh, it's dirty. It's really, really dirty. So I need to clean it. And this is actually broken, but that's all right. I have one this with the exact same size, with the exact same sort of compartments in it. And I put in big wooden um, stamps, washi tapes, small trinkety bits. I actually don't have room for this. Because my wall is completely covered. But I, I don't care. <laughs> I, just want it. I just wanted it. It is absolutely fantastic. I love it. It's huge. I'm going to clean it up. I already have two in the attic waiting for me to do a sort of refurbishing my craft room. Where I have more space on the wall. Um, but as you may know, I am filming from a conservatory. Which is mostly glass. 
and you cannot put it up against the glass. But I found it. It's fantastic, right? It goes on um, a little more over here, but I can I cannot show. It's huge, guys. I paid 12 and a half euros for it, which is a steal. A steal. I know the other one that I have that is a little bit um younger. This this one is older. I paid about 20 euros for that one and I'm really happy with it. So 12 and a half euros is a steal for this sort of antique uh, letterpress drawer box thingy. It's going to be amazing. So lucky I have my dad here so he can help me clean it and sort of restore it. So that was it for my other fantastic, beautiful vintage treasure. Okay, let's do books. Uh, I have too many of them. <laughs> but some real beautiful vintage treasures. I have found some that I already have, but I could not pass up. And then some uh, really beautiful uh, vintage ones that I've never seen, like this one. Uh, it's so, it's oh, the cover already. This is embossed. I don't know if you can see. It is embossed. It's like uh, expecting, you know, you're pregnant. Something like it. Uh, it's probably from a company. But I don't, I don't know. But look at the images. Um, I paid... Uh, this was, was a pile of five books. And in this particular thrift shop, you, uh, you can buy five books for three euros. Which is basically 60 cents a book. Ridiculous. Uh, but I do not find a lot of treasures there. Uh, but these I found. So it's, I paid 60 cents for it. I would have paid 60 cents just for the cover alone. And this one. But the, it has more of these. Oh yes, Friese Vlag. Um, this is for um, baby formula and also milk and, you know, it's a dairy company in, in the Netherlands. But it has more. See, it has actually a lot of these in here. It's just gorgeous. I've never seen this one. I absolutely love it. Uh, now I need to find another one because I really want to use it. It's all about, you know, being pregnant, have, having babies and um, probably baby formula. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I love the paper. It's matte paper. It's sort of watercolors. Oh, 60 cents, guys. Potty. Potty training. <laughs> oh. oh, and then you can put um, a picture of your own baby here. Oh, look. I didn't even see this photo here. And then my baby's born. And it's like, you know, whatever. You can fill, out, fill everything in. It's like a baby book. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look. Oh. Yes, well, I would have paid up for this. Honestly, if I found this was five euros, I would have taken it with me. Absolutely. Um, birds. Really? Birds? Why? <laughs> it's a vintage one. It is a series of, of something. I might have one of these because it does sort of look familiar to me. And this one is all about, well, you can guess, birds. Oh, look at the cardinal. Uh, but the images are amazing. Unfortunately, I only have one, so I cannot cut it up. <laughs> but the images are beautiful. Absolutely. Again, matte paper, probably from the 50s. Did it have a date somewhere? No, but 50s for sure. I just recognize the style of um, illustrating and, uh, and the quality of the paper and sort of the, the way they printed the colors. It's just gorgeous, right? Yeah, I absolutely love them. And these are sort of all the other ones. Does it say? Oh, 1959. There you go. Yes, I should be a historian. Het zeepboekje voor de jeugd. It's like the book for, for, to make soap. You want to make soap? If your children, I don't know. Zeepboekje voor de jeugd. I'm sorry, I'm babbling. It's for youth to make soap. And anywho, it's just, again, um, from the 50s. Oh, I didn't even see this. This is a treasure. It's with soaps. How to make soaps. It's all about making soaps. I didn't even see it. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yeah. Uh, no, it was separate. I would have paid 60 cents just for this. Um, yes, how to make soap for children, for school. Cool, right? Yeah. Oh, another one, another one. What is this? What is this? Another treasure. Okay. Well, this apparently has something to do with making soap. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because these, these are coconuts. And a fly. I do not want to make soap. But I love this. For 60 cents. Oh, 
I love this so much. I don't know if I can scan it, guys. I'm going to see if that is allowed. Then I found this one. A German book. Old one. Um, I do not know how old, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the cover. It's embossed. It's embossed. It's been sort of discolored because of, you know, the sun and the light. The beautiful paper. It's aged. It is all in German in the beautiful font. Uh, it's probably a children's book. Um, I do read a little bit of German, but this is the old German font. I need to sort of translate it. <laughs> it says here 1919. Could be. This could be from, it feels like it could be from 1919. Yeah, and this is probably the writer. Well, who was very old. Uh, he bo was born in 1803 and died in 1848. Yes, that was before I was born. It's just, you know, this is spring, fruiting, spring. Aren't these just fantastic? Such a good find, such a good find. And yes, it was 60 cents. The images are just fantastic i'm going to check if this is really from 1919 uh so then i'll be able to scan it and make sort of a digital of it because i'm not gonna cut it up are you insane it's from 1919 isn't it beautiful yeah i uh, it's absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna google it see if it is actually from 1919 and then i can make something lovely with this okay the last one also a vintage one i have at least two copies of these. One I have been cutting up uh, for years now. Because it's an encyclopedia. It's a Dutch encyclopedia. It's sort of very uh, similar to the Petit La Rousse. The very famous French one. But then um, a Dutch version. It is an encyclopedia with maps in it. And uh, oh, lots of maps actually. Hello. And all small, small sort of images. That I mainly use to make... Um, Faux postage stamps with. And I just love the paper. Just look. With small images. Encyclopedia paper. It's a little bit glossy. I cannot remember mine being glossy. Well, I have another one. I have another one. Uh, I'm going to ask a good friend of mine. If she has this one. If not, then you have one, my love. Because I don't need six of them. But for 60 cents... Uh, ladies, um, if you're a Dutchie, you find this one. Even if it is like four or five euros, you pick it up. Because it's a really, really good one. It's a really good one. Okay, these are just my vintage books. Now I have more books. Let me show you. I found this big one. Uh, it's huge, guys. It is, uh, let me, blah, 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 blah. It is uh, 16 inches by uh, 12 inches. It's huge. From Michelin. Motoring Atlas of... France, new edition, new edition. Um, but I can tell you it's older. I don't know if I can find a date. Does it say uh, 1990? That's already considered old, vintage. Yes, uh, maps, maps, road maps. I just love this sort of paper, especially if it's this big. You can make very big envelopes with these or use it as wrapping paper. Yes, make a small little gift and then use this as wrapping paper. It's just so interesting. And I love the colors, especially these sort of older colors. So, big one. Oh, I paid a euro. Yes, I paid a euro for it. So, if you go thrifting, guys, just, you know, have a look. If you can find some street map, something big and some somewhat older. Because this is just fantastic paper uh to use yes i use it quite a lot so found this one then i have three more that are non-nature books but lovely nonetheless isn't this cute it says forget me not uh, on the front the cover is so cute it hurts me <laughs> yes and it has the um, the handwritten sort of uh font in it all throughout it is sort of a birthday uh calendar um journal whatever i paid 50 cents i know yeah um it's it's like edith holden modern time edith holden with some telephone numbers i don't even know a recipe but all the lovely images with the month next next to it and uh it's like a diary let me do this it's just well it's edith holden but then dutch oh 
beautiful, right? Look at that, yeah. Just like 50 cents. Hello, I didn't have this one. Yeah, is she Dutch? Uh, oh, yes, Lot van de Akker. That's really Dutch, really Dutch. Then I found this one, my at least second copy. It might even be my third one. However, there I think there are more editions of this. Planes, it's aeroplanes, guys. Uh, and I love these. Oh, there was a card in here. B bonus, bonus. Um, it has these images of old aeroplanes. And I absolutely adore them. You can try to fussy cut them. It's a lot of work, I know. Uh, but I've used this before. So all about aeroplanes. Cool, right? Yeah, I really like it. Um, I paid 50 cents for it. No, one euro. One euro. Pff, okay. <laughs> uh, this one. Oud Maarsum in Prente en Verhaal. It's like a small vill village in the Netherlands. And then in stories and pictures. Just a story about uh, an an old an older village. I paid one euro for it. It's not an old, old book. But it made it's made to look old. It's not that old. But it's cool. It's from 1995. Which is already considered old. And it's completely handwritten. Well, it's not hand. It's handwritten font. In Dutch. With all these lovely um, images. And the paper looks like it's, it's like recycled or handmade paper. I don't think it is. It, mi it might be, but I don't think so. Uh, but I just love it. Just take this out. Put it in a journal as a page. It's fantastic, right? I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful image. Yes. So these are the non-nature books. Then I have nature books some of them i already have but they were just too good to pass up um i found these in two thrift uh different thrift shops i found this in uh, shop a and this in shop b they were both 50 cents <laughs> i took both of them i know uh and also this one is from a series now i already have this one that is from the same series i already have the one with the butterflies and i love it uh, so I have now I have two that says wildflowers, one that says birds. I need the one that says trees because there are um, four of them. There are four of them. Look, lovely small images. Yes, for making faux tickets, faux stamps, or just do some fuzzy cutting, or on a tag, or what I have. Now I have two of those, so one is going to go in my collection. One is going to be completely gutted, and I paid fifty cents for each of them, which is. Yes, I I had this one completely cut it up years ago. This is probably one of the yes, definitely one of the first one I cut up. I must say it's a very good size of the of the illustrations, fifty cents. So now I just need the one with trees. If you're a Dutchie, if you have the one with trees and have one spare, I would happy to buy it from you. Then I have this. Elsa Fierce is also a publisher that I really like. Um, especially for nature. Nature books and such. This is all about pigeons and doves. This is my second copy. I have a soft cover. And this is the hard cover. So I'm going to put it. It was 29 euros. Then it was 12.50. And I paid 50 cents for it. Who's going to pay 20? Okay. Um, is it upside down? It's upside down. What? Oh my gosh, guys, the whole book is upside down. No, honestly, guys, front, right, opening it up. It is absolutely, the whole book from the factory came upside down. <laughs> so I'm going to flip it. Uh, yes, well, this is the, the front. And it's full of, um, that's so funny, it's upside down. Of beautiful uh, pigeons and doves. And um, we in the Netherlands just have one word. We say duif, and it's same as a pigeon or a dove. I don't know really the difference. This you probably call a pigeon, and then this a dove, right? Probably do. Loved it. Paid one euro for it. No, 50 cents even. It's upside down. So cool. Never seen that. Um, yes, well, what does this say? What does this say? Mousseau. Well, I'm going to say Mousseau. Another, I found another one, guys. I paid a euro for it, which is a, a brilliant uh, price. Look at, look at the images. These books are just the best. Just the best. Uh, do you already have a copy of this one? Yes, I already have two. But that, that just doesn't matter. 
I cannot leave these. If I can find uh, these um, for a good price, which means under five euros, I just take them with me. Just absolutely love them. So yes, I had this one and this one. Uh, I did not have this one. Um, fishes, fishies. Yes, I do have another one from this series. I have one with butterflies from well the same publisher and. You know, what did I uh, pay for it? One euro. And uh, it's on matte paper. And it has fishies for fussy cutting. So now I need to find um, a new copy. Because I want, to, I want to have at least two if I'm going to cut it up. Yeah, so cool. One euro. These are older. These are actually vintage because they're older. I already have this one. I don't have this one yet. So I'm very happy I have this. It even has the dust cover on it. Um, it is by Tima. And Tima is an, another excellent um, publisher for nature books. Yeah. Uh, Tima also did the British Concise Flora something. Has the dust cover. Oh, let me show you the inside. Paid one euro. Yes. Birds. All the images are on uh, semi-gloss paper. Yes, you can see the shine, but the colors are amazing. Look at those. I have two now, so I can use them. Oh, oh. Um, also has some black and whites, of course. But I, I buy this especially for these images because they're just gorgeous. Now, these I would probably use as a page, as a whole image on something. Um, and the other ones, these, I just cut the well not this fish because that fish is ugly uh, i just cut the images out but the other ones i would use for the whole page that's just beautiful does have i thought i thought i saw 1970 somewhere did i i don't know older older and i can say it's older because that's the year that i was born and then the same one from the same sort of um publisher and uh it's probably from the same series or something Fishies and um, reptiles, something. Again, it was a euro, and it has these. Yes, these are all the sort of reptiles. Look at the frogs. That's a scary looking frog. I'd run. And turtles, uh, but also fishies. Where are the fishies? See fishies. Oh, and it says here, this is sort of the negative, like. These are the fishies. This is the same sort of image. And then in the image, it says the, the name of the fishy. Okay. It's just cool. I just love the, love the colors. Love it. Was that it? That's it. Not a lot. But you know, most of it I already have. So yes, beautiful, beautiful um, books for junk journaling. So it wasn't a huge haul, but I think it was really successful. I really liked everything I picked up. Some of the best treasures, of course, the the letter box that I've shown you. It's uh, it's going to be against the wall, guys. I'm not going to have it flat. It's going to have it like on the wall. It's going to be put on the wall. Just you know, making sure how this how this thing works. I absolutely loved everything. I love the postcards as well, and, and some of the books are re real treasures. So. That's it for today. Thank you for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed all my goodies. Uh, and now I need to go find a spot for them. Yes, hopefully I can find some more room. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.